World News is back on the trail of finding you ingenious ways to put real money in your wallet. It turns out after the family dinner and the eggnog, 20% of us return at least one Christmas gift. That's more than $62 billion in unwanted presents. ABC's Paula Ferris has found a way you can use that to your advantage, and it is real money. My daughter got this. If you're one of the millions that returned a gift this holiday season, it most likely ends up here. Scooters, slides, ceiling fans, and games. We have vacuum cleaners, refrigerator, Legos. This is really good stuff. The real island of misfit toys, secondivity.com, letting us in their warehouse. We found out that once an electronic item has been opened, the big retailers can't put it back on the shelf, so they sell to secondivity. For those of us that didn't like the gifts that Santa got us over the holidays, are they going to end up here? Yes. If it's out of the box, we inspect it, we test it, we grade it. And because they're a clearinghouse, they can sell at discounts up to 80%. Santa might want to shop here next year. Jamie and Jordan Cohn are looking for a bargain. Hi, Jamie. I'm Paula. The Cones are parents to Madeline, Jack, Caleb, and sweet little Hattie. You spent all the money on the kids, and now you need some money to buy something for yourselves, right? Absolutely. Money that will help them buy this new camera that's as fast as their family. But we need to find them real money first. This is where I come in. Tech editor Joanna Stern, our savvy saver, tells us where to start. Tip number one, did you know you could get cash for old kids' clothes without ever leaving your home? ThreadUp will give you dough for gently used duds. They'll send the bag. All you have to do is load it up. Zip up hoodie. This is a big one, $4.65 to $6.95. Woohoo! Okay, we're getting full. We're over $40 right now. And look, two bags. Woohoo! And an empty and basket. An empty basket. All that's left to do is drop it by the door. Santa may have gotten the kids new clothes, but mom and dad got $80 for their old ones. Tip number two, go drawer digging for hidden treasure. We have a Blackberry. We don't need this. Yes. We can trade them in on Amazon and nextworth.com. 30, 30, that's 60 there. Yeah. $60 just that's lying in a drawer. Two rooms down, $218, and we keep digging. Tip number three, there's even more bang for the buck in unwanted gift cards. We have some Barnes & Noble gift cards. At GiveGranny.com, they'll give us $46 for this $50 Amazon gift card. And at Gift Card Rescue, another $46 for $60 worth of Barnes & Noble's cards. Is Uncle Ryan going to be upset that we're selling his gift card? Yeah, he might. <laughs> Poor Uncle Ryan. So what about getting what you really wanted all along for Christmas? Tip number four, shop wholesalers like Second Deputy's Warehouse. That's where we found the Cones camera for a fraction of the retail price. We got enough money to get your new camera. <gasps> your Sony Cybershot. Yay! All in all, the Cones racked up $375 and a family album full of memories. That's real money. And as for those gift cards, roughly $6 billion worth go unused annually, according to the research firm Tower Group. And the majority of the time, that money is funneled back directly to the retailers. And Diane. the names of all those websites will be online if you want to check it out. And you said they had money left over. Yes, with the money that we saved them through this uh, series, uh, we saved them $375. They bought the camera and then had $225 to spare. Date night for mom and dad. Very nice. They earned it. Thank you, Paula.